The Western press says Zelensky has one last chance before the White House. Due to the restrictions that the administration of U.S. President Joe Biden has imposed on the use of American weapons against the whole on Russian territory, Ukraine's frustration is growing every day. Soon, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky will have one last chance to persuade the American leader to change his position. This was reported by The Economist. The publication recalled that the complete prohibition of hitting targets in Russia with American weapons was lifted in May, when Washington reported that Ukraine could strike at the concentration of Russian troops on the other side of the border, which are preparing to attack the city of Kharkiv or in the direction of the city of Kharkiv. When Ukrainians entered Kursk Oblast a month later, they took with them anti-aircraft missile batteries that had been deployed against Russian forces designed to repel the invasion. Washington had no objections. In the past, the reason for banning Ukraine from using U.S. weapons against targets in Russia was that it could provoke an escalation of reaction from the Kremlin that would ultimately cause more damage to Ukraine and could even lead to Russia's use of nuclear weapons. In recent months, there have been new reasons for Ukraine's restrictions. Unnamed officials suggest that the administration does not want to jeopardize a reset of relations with Moscow at some point in the future. Other officials argue that allowing Ukraine to use systems that launch ATACMS missiles, which have a longer range than HIMARS, against targets in Russia will not change the strategic picture because there is not enough intact within range of these systems. Russia has relocated most of the aircraft, namely 90% used to launch powerful glider bombs, and in any case, such a scarce resource is better used against the whole of Crimea, the newspaper writes. It also recently became known that the Biden administration did not allow Britain and France to approve Ukraine's request to use Storm Shadow and Scalp missiles outside Ukrainian territory. This is possible because this cruise missile contains American components. Experts call the arguments about the lack of targets in the range of Western weapons or the insufficient number of missiles dubious. Incidentally, Ben Hodges, the former commander of U.S. Army Europe, described the situation as a constant excuse that is misleading and inaccurate. According to him, there is no moral or legal reason not to attack these targets. He stressed that Mr. Biden receives a lot of advice from Obama-era officials who have repeatedly been wrong about Russia. And if Biden doesn't change his mind, his legacy will be tarnished. Zelensky will soon have one last chance to persuade Biden to adopt a new approach to leaving office when they meet next week in New York on the sidelines of the annual UN General Assembly, The Economist adds. Meanwhile, Ukraine is actively working on the creation of long-range weapons and, demonstrating what they are capable of, Ukrainians make even stronger arguments in favor of allowing them to use ATACMS and Storm Shadow and Scalp against targets on Russian territory, according to Ben Barry, an expert on above-ground warfare. In general, I want to tell you that this may not be the last chance, but it is a way to convince and prove. And, in general, the Kursk operation has already clearly proved that there is no need to be afraid, if there were such excuses from the White House, to allow strikes on the territory of the Russian Federation.